Hello and welcome to Video Reveal. This one is going to save you when you're in trouble. This is Safe Mode Launch in Adobe Premiere Pro. All right, if you've ever had problems with Premiere Pro, you know that you can reset things by holding Alt on Windows, Alt and Shift or Option Shift on the Mac. When you launch Premiere Pro, you have to do it really quick and you get a little dialog uh, box that comes up to reset a couple of things. Well, Adobe has updated that uh, to allow you to turn off and reset several things. I'll show you that in just a second. And one that's really important is turning off third-party plugins. You can do that when you're launching because sometimes you crash because of a plugin and it's still loaded in there and you can't open it to get rid of it. So now you can when you open it. Now, I'm going to show you this in a beta version, but it will be in a shipping version by the time I release this tutorial. So I'm going to hold down just the shift. The, the instructions say any key, but I'm just going to use shift. So I'm going to launch from the uh, Creative Cloud desktop top anywhere you want to launch from the dock from the start menu on windows double clicking on it just make it quick that you hold the key down so i'm going to move this out of the way so you can see it come up so i'm not going to hold shift before that click open and now i'm holding shift and this is the dialog box that comes up so there's several things you can do so at the top, it says select one or more options to perform this. So you don't have to select all of them. Some of them are the same, uh, like resetting the plugin cache is what was there before. Um, and when the plugins are loaded, Adobe builds a, a cache for that. Uh, that can become corrupt for whatever reason. And just like before, you can clean that out. So you get little tool tips over here to give you more information. So reset app preferences. Uh, and it tells you the preferences are user-defined settings for customizing the appearance behavior of Premiere Pro. Resetting it does not delete the custom keyboard shortcuts. So this is for any of the preferences for how uh, Premiere Pro is, is working in the prefs. That will always all be reset, but keyboard shortcuts will stay the same. Uh, clear media cache, this is uh, what you could do before in the preferences uh, where the cache is storing those files and you can clean that out. This is the number one thing to always try whenever Premiere Pro is having problems. And this is not just a Premiere Pro thing. This is anything that creates a cache. Other applications out there by other vendors do the same thing. And this just gives you another way to clean the cache out. It's just good to clean the cache when you don't have anything open uh, because cleaning the cache in Premiere Pro, when you have a project open, you can only clean the cache of stuff that project is not using. So this is cleaning everything. There's the, the plugin cache and the, the tip says uh, Premiere Pro stores plugin information in and if you're having problems, see if that changes it. And then disable third party plugins one time only. So this is only gonna happen one time. And the tool tip says sometimes plugins cause uh, Premiere Pro to be unstable. Use this to disable them before continuing with uh, Premiere Pro to identify if it's the problem. So the idea here is you've crashed previous to this, open this up, get the reset options and uh, turn this on, disable the third party plugins and then try to do what you were doing before. If there are no crashes, then that will tell you that's one of those third party plugins contact the manufacturer and see if there's an update to reinstall. So I'm going to um, leave these, I'm just re resetting the plugin cache for me, clear the media cache, continue the file, continue. And you'll see it's loading more things. It's like the very first time Premiere Pro launched. So it's loading all of my Red Giant plugins and then we open up. And if you cleared everything up, then all of these would uh, most likely be gone. If this area is blank, Premiere Pro did not delete your content. It never deletes any of your content. It just removes the links to the content. They're still exactly where you created them. So it's really easy to do, can get you out of a bind. Like I said, the documentation says any key, but 
I just prefer the shift key. It's an easy one to remember. Um, it's half of what you used to hold down, but this can really save you when you're in the middle of a, a you know, a, a very important edit and Premiere Pro is misbehaving and you need to clear things out. Um, and they've put all of that in one area, which just makes so much sense. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us some more, you can do that on videorevealed.com slash shop. Donate once, monthly, any amount. We do appreciate that. Thanks to all of our wonderful donors. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to keep a lookout on some really important features that are going to make things work for you when Premiere Pro is deciding to be a little bit unstable.